Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we are back with yet another amazing opportunity from Accenture and this particular opportunity is for 2024 students. This is a hackathon for women in engineering. So basically this is a hackathon that is conducted by Accenture only for women, those who are still in their engineering or you can say like those who are from 2024 batch. So in this video, we will check what is this all about, what are the offers that you are going to get and what is the eligibility criteria and how to register for this particular hackathon so let's check it out in this video so watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any kind of important update so the link as usual you will be getting in the description box you just need to click on the link and you will be lent it to accenture's official website where the hackathon has been listed so the name of the hackathon as we can see is hack diva so this is basically for women in engineering so work at the heart of change. So let us just check it out. What is this? It's all about. So about Hack Diva. So at Accenture, we believe in creating sense of belonging for all by working together to build a culture of equality. So everyone can perform at their best, advance and thrive. 2024 marks the 20th year we celebrate International Women's Day and opportunity for us to have open, honest and meaningful conversation with the gender equality. So basically they are going to give a chance uh, for the female students from all the engineering students uh, like engineering colleges in India, those who will be graduating in 2024 to take part in this particular hackathon and win exciting prizes. So eligibility, let us check it out. This is this competition is only for individual participants. It means you can individually take participation in this particular uh, hackathon, but not in groups. Uh, female candidates from all streams, branches of BEB Tech, MEM Tech, MS, MCA and MSc, only CS and IT who are passing out in 2024 with full time education. So you can be from any stream if you are from B Tech or BE or ME or M Tech. But if you are from MCA or MSc, you must be only from CS and IT background. Otherwise, all streams and all branches of BEB Tech and MEM Tech are allowed to take part. First, second, third year engineering students are not eligible. So that's why they will be disqualified. So if you are in your first year, second year or third year, you must not apply for this hackathon because then you will get disqualified. Registration is mandatory to participate in this contest. No Accenture employee can participate in this contest. So if you are working at Accenture, you cannot apply to this uh, particular hackathon. Scoring will be automated and will be based on four major parameters that is mentioned here. Time efficiency, memory efficiency, logical correctness, and semantic analysis. So these four parameters will be analyzed for your final evaluation. The right to permit to restrict participation is the sole discretion of Accenture. So it means uh, what permits they will be giving you or if they are restricting you, that is the sole property of Accenture. You cannot question on that part because they have some strict parameters. So they will be testing you uh, on this thing very nicely. So what are the rewards and prizes that you are going to get? So first prize that would be an Apple MacBook. Second prize would be Apple iPad. Third prize would be Boss Speaker. And 10 runner-ups could win vouchers for up to 5,000, like worth 5,000. And that's a very good thing. And also these kind of hackathons, if you take part, you can mention it in your resume. They will also create an added advantage when you will go for full-time roles because if you are participating in this kind of uh, hackathons, they usually uh, like make you stand out of the crowd. So let us check out what would be the uh, rounds. So here it is mentioned contest rounds and timelines. So round one, that would be a qualifier round and date of round one is 11 February. So this would be a 90 minute eliminator round. You can choose your preferred programming language from a curated list to crack the challenging coding assessment. So it is strictly mentioned there would be a strict coding assessment. Only the best will advance to the semi-final round. Round two, that would be the semi-final. That would be on 18th of February. The semi-final round would be again a coding contest where you will be uh, navigate through uh, interactive coding scenarios in 120 minutes battle. So that would be a 120 minute battle. Uh, round one would be of 90 minute and round two would be of 120 minute. 
with an expanded set of complex programming problems only some of you will secure a spot in final so they have mentioned so they are going to take a very few amount of students for the final so you must be very sharp with your coding skills round 3 the final round that would be on 25th of feb this round would be final round where you will complete other uh, compete with other finalists in 120 minute challenge so again there would be a 120 minute challenge in the third round so if you have the spirit like you can crack you must take participate uh, you must participate in this particular hackathon and even uh, if you do not uh, like feel uh, good with coding then also you can take part because then also you are going to learn a very important thing okay so you must take part if you are from 2024 batch now let us check out how you can register so registration deadline is 4th of february 11:59 pm so you must register before uh, 4th of feb because uh, then the registrations will close and then you cannot register for this particular hackathon so let's click on register now so i'll show you what are the things they are asking in the registration form so that you can keep it ready before you start the form okay so check if you need any assistant so we'll just click here on the next button to proceed okay so in this uh, particular form i'll show you each and every detail which you have to mention your first name your middle name your last name your email id your primary contact number and listen in accenture you cannot uh, like edit your details once you have submit your form no changes are permitted after submitting post submission okay so please be clear with this part and fill the correct details whatsapp consent so you can give yes i can give my consent date of birth gender of course only females are invited so you will click on female education details just click here and you can fill your education details post graduate dual degree or undergraduate so you can just fill undergraduate and then uh, more columns will get opened up here in degree you can just select your degree so here is the btech and you can just write your college name branch year of assing if you have done masters as well so then you can first uh, fill the master details then you can click on add more button to fill your graduation details next now last week i have come up with declaration and consent so we will read all the uh, like uh, the privacy documents and everything and we'll just click on yes and i agree read all the consents what they are asking you okay next we'll just click on i agree on all parts and we'll read the journal notice and then click on submit that is a quite uh, uh, like they are asking very less information about yourself because they are, uh, lastly they are going to judge your coding skills okay so this is some basic details basic registration is this later on as soon as you register you will be getting your details uh, like uh, for the next round if you are shortlisted for this particular hackathon you will be getting all the round details on your personal email id which you will be putting up in the form so please keep checking your email id so that you do not miss any kind of important information from accenture so that's a big opportunity uh, each one of you should take part in this so if you are eligible you must take part because you will be getting very much to know about this thing and this is of coursely going to help you out when you will go for your full time roles as they will create an added advantage to your resume so that's all uh, today in this video this was from accenture the hack diva that is the hackathon for uh, the females uh, for 2024 batch hope you like the video if you have any kind of queries comment down below our mentors will be happy to help you out see you in the next video till then stay tuned bye bye